Hey guys, welcome to another video. It is uh, day 63, what is essentially the final video because uh, I'm uh, heading into customs for my flight back to uh, Narita and then back to the US. But first, bye! Hi, MV. Bye. See you again! I finished with customs and now we're gonna head to our gate. So I've arrived at the uh, Tokyo Narita airport and it's like 7 a.m. right now so there's like barely anyone here and uh, yeah basically almost everything is closed because either it's early for it to be open or COVID so yeah there's a spot that I'm gonna go rest at and then I'm gonna explain to you my situation. There is absolutely nobody in this entire side of the airport. Like literally just nobody. It's just me. Okay, so it's currently 7.30 and my uh, flight is gonna be at 6 p.m. Meaning that I'm gonna have to be here for another 10 hours and 30 minutes. That is not fun, so yeah. I don't really know what I'm gonna do now. I'm probably just gonna catch up on sleep since I only had two hours of sleep last night and uh, yeah uh, 
Okay, so now I've had my uh, hour-long nap, and now I'm going to go head to breakfast. It's uh, 8.37 currently, and now there's a lot of people all of a sudden. Okay, so I just got back and got myself uh, some breakfast, which is the teriyaki chicken and egg sandwich. Now, it looks good. I have high hopes for it. So let's, let's uh, eat this. Here it is. It tastes like school food. It does well. So, I only have like seven and a half hours left in uh, this airport, so why not explore around the place? Because I haven't really seen much of it except for tax-free Akihabara. And uh, yeah, I have the time, let's go. There's suddenly a lot of people. What the heck? Alright, the final hour. Let's go.
All right, so it's currently 5.35 p.m. Boarding's gonna start in half an hour and I'm trying to get there pretty soon because I also need to go to the bathroom and I wanted to get to the gate as early as possible. And it's on the other side of the terminal, so yeah. We have landed. It was at this point that uh, Pat Frankie just decided not to talk anymore. He had spent like the past 30 hours just flying on a plane or just going around an airport. So here's a uh, future Frankie uh, taking over. Uh. I basically went through customs and then I uh, got my bag and I basically just did all the stuff, got out of the airport and then I kind of just went home or I could just chill and then go to bed. This was probably the most eventful trip to Vietnam I've had and I'm very glad that I went.